customers are hardware engineers. And, and, and I have a tremendous respect for these guys because they do very, very, very complex things. And they work with chips, some of them even design chips, and this is incredibly complex. But there is one thing which every time is unique in a design, and that is the circuit board, the printed circuit board. So the printed circuit board is very, very, very important for the reliability, for the quality, and, and, uh, and the functioning of the application in the field later on. And this is something that uh, needs to be brought to the attention of, uh, of the people, uh, because it is as important as the chip. They're special with the uh, design of your circuit, and we make together a workshop for the entrance in the FPGA Technic, because a lot of people have uh, a little bit fear to use the FPGA Technic. And so we want to uh, set the level for the FPGA Technic lower, and we want to explain something, how is it programming and parallel working and so on. This should be inside this two days workshop uh, be cleared. And I hope a lot of people will come. Oh, and it is special, uh, it is made for Germans. And we explain it also in German because all of the tools are only in English. And so I think uh, sometimes we have a loss in translation and it's necessary to explain it in German. Yeah. The whole uh, electronic world and the uh, industry, FPGA industry is constantly changing, especially when the major players are now taken over by AMD and Intel. And they slowly leave a certain uh, uh, industrial segments and uh, we try to now to take over these segments uh, through our cost effectiveness and especially availability. So many companies are still suffering from this chip shortage and there is a still uh, uneasiness in the industry of uh, are your devices available and uh, how fast. Yes, uh, our devices are available in a, a very fast mode and um, that is what customers uh, are attracted to. Don't only have the real processing and fixed processing inside FPGA, you also have more abilities to use CPUs inside FPGA. So you have a mix on software and hardware programming. It is on one hand side, uh, the application possibilities are more and more. On the other hand side, you need a team to program it. Uh, to handle it, it's the, for a single person, it's really heavy. And so I want to explain it uh, on one hand side for technicians, on the other hand side for, for businessmen, they want to say uh, they receive any offer. How they will know is this offer good or is this offer bad? Yeah? And so the, to make the right decision, they have to know a little bit on the technic. Yeah? And so it's a wide range of persons we want to speak to. We, we love it to do like workshops together with people who, uh, who tell about the complexity of the FPGA, for instance, and, and how to program it and so on. And on the other hand, we explain about what, what's about making circuit boards and what makes a circuit board reliable. Because most of the things that, that would not make a circuit board reliable are uh, due to, uh, to the design. So design is very, very, very important. And there are two aspects of making an application reliable in the long term. And a uh, circuit board is, uh, is, is one of them and probably one of the most important because it's unique every time in every design.